already experiencing corner of the eye phenomena. You know, where you see things out the corner of your eye? Yeah, well, that's where they live. And it was like, that, when I come in here, there's no lie, I, saw, I thought I saw somebody walk across and it was white, like a white, a white figure. Well, if you did, all the, all the camera um, coverage that we've got tonight will have definitely picked something up, so yeah. we'll have to go through that footage later. Yeah, if any of you who are watching these screens, or this screen, if you see anything, let us know in the comments, because we can uh, read them in real time as we're going along. Just making our way through some very creepy woods. See, Alan's in there. Hello, Alan. My old work colleagues. Nice to see you in there, buddy. Yeah, even though it may be quite light outside, it's actually getting quite dark in here. So, I've just pulled out the EMF meter and it's, it's spiking, look. Tony Beacock says, I just saw a white circular type flash. Are there any reflectors on the trees? Uh, not as far as we know. I think this jacket lights up, doesn't it? Is this showing up as reflective? Um, no. Although that could have been the light from Mark's um, body cam. May have been a little bit of lens flare created there. But we will be going back through all this footage. See if there's anything we need to see. Was that spiking then? Yeah, the alarm went off. I heard that. What, what on earth is causing that spike? Let me just... Did you hear that? It went orange. The alarm went off. I didn't see what it was reading, but it's not. It's not my camera look. I thought if I put my camera near it, or it's, it's not picking the cameras up. What was that? Temperature is dropping. 15.2, going down. Um, for those of you that are not aware, the, this ground is backed right onto the Halton Price crematorium. So, you know, we may be getting some some feedback from that, maybe. It's tweeting. Oh, Laurie's in. Hi, Laurie. Hi, Laurie. Just update you on the temperature as we're going. It's now at 12 degrees and we started at 15.5. That is dropping really quick. It is. Look at the bats. Yeah, there, there are quite a few around here, aren't they? It's really quiet. It is really quiet. Do you know, give him a radio. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. Rubble from the old site, I think. What's that for old slippery, that? So this is part of the old site we're just coming onto, isn't it? It's it is. Back, back of it, in, at the other side of these tre this tree line. 
Yeah. Back of um, part of the old Delapole Hospital. When we when we um, used to do band rehearsals in the Hilltop Club, which is you can see just over there somewhere on, on the back road. There used to be a clubhouse at the back, which had a little bar in it, and this, that, and the other. And we used to uh, do band rehearsals in there. And sometimes when we were waiting to go in, we'd have all our gear stacked up outside. And uh, you'd see the odd person walking down the road towards us. Well, obviously troubled, you know. Somebody's had a campfire. Yeah. Uh, naughty, naughty. You know, they're obviously troubled and they'd come up and you'd think, oh, yeah, here we go. You know, time to be on the offensive kind of thing. But the, but no, there were, there were never any trouble. There were never any trouble, but they did used to get out and wander around here all the time. And I, for one, I'm... Uh, Really, definitely keen on learning a little bit more about the um, about the history of Delapole. I know you can only read so much on the internet, but it'd be nice to actually uh, talk to people who've worked there and um, get their take on what was going on. Well, they used to do, um, like we said, I said last night, lobotomies on people, and also um, if people had had mental breakdowns, they was doing electric shock therapy on them. Uh, electroshock treatment, that's barbaric that. One of the guys that comes to the church, he had a breakdown in his young 20s, he's in his, I think he's nearly 70 now, but he's not quite all there. And he, he said he was going through all the electric shock uh, therapy. Oh dear. So it just made him worse. What a state to be in. I know, sir. What an absolute state to be in. Although we are a little bit later, when it gets a little bit darker, I'm going to set up some trigger objects. Uh, maybe at the back of the crematorium, I don't know. Oh, there's one of the old roads in, into the actual hospital grounds there. Let me just show you this. There you go. It's still an access road leads out to uh, to nowhere really oh, Richie Bear um, is watching good evening sir good evening we're just going into the main part of the Delapole grounds now uh, but we've got to get through these trees and it's really really dark in here and there's bats flying everywhere oh no will they get in my hair yeah what is it? Which one? Here we go. <laughs> Tina says bird. Laugh, laugh, laugh. Here we go. It is. Yeah. Okay. The light is. The light seems to be going really, really quickly. And I'm just basically walking by the light of my uh, by what I can see on the screen. But you need to break through this lot just to get through to the back of the creme. Tony, watch. Yeah, I can see your breath, mate. It said it was 14 degrees. It's it's a lot colder than it 14 is. degrees. Look at this. It's freezing. Yeah. Absolutely freezing in here. I can see mine. Spooking some birds in the trees. Now I can see very little in here with the naked eye now, I'm just relying on my screens. 
and the illumination I've got just so I don't so I don't stand on anything. Um, trying to find a way through. <laughs> Under that tree is it? Yeah we'll try it. It's all changed. Roof tile? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. One of the roof tiles. Yeah. What the hell's that? used to be just on this ground as we come out of this tree here. It was a real strange noise then. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera. I think you will be able to, yeah. As it gets darker, me and Tony are going to split up in these woods. Stay in radio contact, see what we can find. of the old morgue. This is where the morgue part was on the hospital and it used to run right through there, a path what used to go into the back of the crematorium. Creepy stuff. Yeah. Creepy you stuff. As well, Tony. Nothing had grown on this bit where the morgue was. No, you're right. It is, it's just like a few nettles and everything, but that's it. It's just like barren. I mean, it's soil. But that's a good point. Richie Bear says looks very eerie. Yeah, do you know what it is? It's a combination of how quiet it is and how cold it's getting. Eeriness abounds, which is great. Yeah I, can, yeah, I can see your light. Yeah, I can see where you are. You can see the uh, outline of the area where they had the coal storage, can't you? You see it? Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, you see it here. This is the path, look. This is the path, look. Right up to the creme, which is just there. Oh yeah, I can see it. You can't see it when you look because it's absolutely pitch black. But I can see that. Now I think the last time we were here, 
we heard plenty of footsteps right up against that back fence and that was the weirdest thing so I wonder if we'll hear anything tonight now as we were saying earlier some years ago when the hospital was here when it was a hospital there used to be a path leading straight up to there you get it's really dark I think you can oh that light's just come on There used to be a path here leading up to the rear of the crematorium um, for people who passed away in the hospital. So, this has been a, a path that many of poor soul took on their uh, on their final journey. Dude, my radio's caught me. Dude, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm hooked up. Oh no. What are you doing? I'm stuck. <laughs> there we go. It's when you've got too much kit on, innit? <laughs> are you all free? <clears throat> I'm going in that direction. So Mark's right over there, and you can just see him. And he's really, really quite far away now. And we're just gonna, you see, it is that dark. My infrared is hardly cutting through this darkness. I mean, it's still working. You can see right to the end of the fence there, but it's um, it's just bleeding all that infrared away. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but I'm, I'm sure I just heard a girl's voice say hello. 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 Yeah, I'm sure I had that. A lot of residual noise from the road. So I'm switching the ovulus on. Ovulus on. Okay. Hello, mate. Yeah, I, I don't know if I keep hearing vo little voices or not. Just say again. Really? 
what kind of temperatures are you picking up on the millimeter? It's in my pocket at the moment because I'm holding like three different things. <laughs> ah, yeah, the same here. <laughs> I've just got I've just got the um, the iOvilus switched on. I'm just seeing if that throws out any uh, any words, but it's been weirdly quiet. That's just been a really weird sound um, accompanying your transmission. Um, do you know when you get like an image in your head when you're doing uh, psychic work? I am getting a feeling that there's somebody here. I'm getting the feeling that there's a, there's a, a girl, there's a female. You know, it's funny you should say that, because um, I mentioned it on the video. I thought I heard, like a little guess, girl say, Hello! A little bit earlier on. Yeah, I'm getting super creeped out here. I might have to just step out of the woods a minute. Tony? Hello? I'm coming out. Someone's just pulled at me. I'm coming out into the road. Alright mate, do you want me to meet you there? Just checking out here. Tony, there's somewhere here. Whereabouts are you? I've just seen something run in front of me. There's somewhere here. Yeah, whereabouts are you mate? Do you want me to meet you there? Um, I'm coming out onto the little up area, cause I have, it's really heavy in there. I'm just trying to get through all these nettles and bushes. All right, I'll see if I can locate you. Uh, I'm trying to come out into the clearing. If you look out, you might see me light. Yeah. I'm out in the open, so I can see the light. Yeah, I've got eyes on you. Well. Just get this gear back in my bag. Make sure I've not left anything. And make our way out onto the road. <coughs> well, this ovulus has been uh, really, really quiet. And it's usually good at generating words. But, um, you know, since it's been on, not one, for some reason. I can see Mark's light over there. Right, okay. Now I'm just walking by my camera screen at the minute. Just trying to... Oh. Oh, I'm just, I've just looked up and I'm walking through a massive nettle patch. Oh god, I think I'm coming the wrong way, but... Yeah, I can see I'm coming here now. <laughs> Ow. Oh, that was a bramble. I'm going to have to go back. Tony, was that you? Yeah, I'm just going back, mate. I've just, just walked into some really thick foliage, uh, like brambles and stuff. Oh, that's alright, I can see a path. I'm coming round now. Walk across where? This tree here, yeah. I'm heading towards it now. I just saw a black figure. Right, well, I'm walking to. Right, I'm just near this big tree, right in the middle. Fucking up, Tony, you need to come here a bit. 
Whereabouts are you? I'm in the open where nothing grows. Ah, right, okay. I'm right out at the front. I'll be with you in a tick. So you're not going to only saw a figure walk across and I thought it was you? Right, okay. Give me two minutes, I'll be right with you. Mmm, well, interesting. Hi. Oh, we've just got a word on the ovulus. It said hide. Mark, we just got a word on the ovulus, mate. It said hide. Yeah, you're right in front of me, dude. because this proper freaked me out. That... Right. I'll, I'll start with this bit because this proper freaked me out. That tree there... Right. I'll, I'll start with this bit because this proper freaked me out. That tree there... That... I thought you walked across it and I was heading towards you. And as I got closer, I realised you was over there. There was somebody walked across that tree. I'm going to have to check the footage later. It may have picked it up because I was pointing both cameras in that direction. See there, it walked like from there, across there, and it went in there and it vanished. There was a black figure. I am not kidding you. I mean, you know how sceptical I am. Right, that is strange. In the part where I had to leave, over there, at the first one, something pulled like the back of the hat, and I, I turned around because I thought there was a branch and there's nothing there. And I thought, all right, I'll stick it a bit longer. So I stayed a bit longer, and then something pulled the side of me frigging thing, like that. And it, Joe, you know, when you can see the breath, it was freezing, absolutely freezing. It went, when it comes in on you really heavy, it felt like that, and I thought, I'm going to have to get out. Really? That's in the, where we first came in. Right. It was really heavy. Wow. I mean, you, you don't very often see me leave a haunted place. No. <laughs> <coughs> I've got to admit, that is out of character. But it was so, there. I thought that was you. It walked like from there to just there, and it vanished into them bushes, and I thought that was you. Really? Yeah. I probably got that on camera. I was stood over there. Hopefully, my camera's picked it up. And when I got closer and realised it wasn't you, I started shitting myself a bit. <laughs> there was a black figure. There honestly was a black figure there. I've got one word on the ovulus. Up to now. And it was hide. Oh, God, it probably freaked me out, that. You know when you're in the woods by yourself and yeah. you think you're going to your mate and you mate it in your mate it's somebody else. <laughs> Less crazy. Let's see what else the ovulus has to say. I'm going to take an EMF reading around there. If it's going to say anything else, because it only said that one word. I think we, we both need to go over there as well because it's it's really bad over there. What? In that direction? No, over there where I was where I got tugged. Really? Tugged twice. Through the bushes. Well, it's not that the weirdest thing is if it didn't make a sound. No, there was no sound, but I thought it was you. And I thought it was odd because you didn't have a light on. But this, I headed in this direction because, but you, you was over there. EMF zero. Uh, temperature is 12.7, 12 12.5, 12 12.7. Yeah, I was right across at the um, uh, crematorium fence. That kind of freaked me out, can you tell? Yeah, I can. That freaked me out a bit, that. When you stood by yourself, normally in a location, we, 
we're with each other or somebody's with us and you're all right, aren't you? But when you're by yourself in that situation, you proper think, fucking hell. <laughs> you know I'm not putting that on because I don't Nice. Know. It was there on that, where I saw it like, it started there and got thicker as it got to that one and then it disappeared there. Mm. I think... The plot thickens. Yeah, I think we should go in that part where I've got old. <coughs> okay, yeah, let's go because back over there. it opens there. up into a big wooded area. Yes. And we're kind of in shouting distance there, if that happens. Yeah, let's go back over there. I think I've seen, a, that was an apparition, I've seen something now. Really? Yeah, that's the first time I've seen a figure like that. I felt as though something was watching me through the what did that say just as I said that? Object. It did feel as though something was watching me through there. Strange. Huh. Strange. Yeah. I was stuck here when I got I got the back of me. I was stood exactly here. I got the back of me. I was like facing that way. Back of my hat was pulled. And when I turned and I looked, the nearest tree is above you, look, the nearest branch. Right, yeah, I can see it. And then I turned back and I got pulled here at the side where the radio is and there's nothing there, look. It's just nettle. Because I was gonna go film over there where the buildings are. What was it like a bit of a sharp tug on your yeah, on your yeah. coat? Yeah. That's why I thought at first it's branches, but there's nothing here. Mm, good stuff. If there is anyone here, can he touch one of us? God, I felt weird. I feel weird. In what way? I feel sick. Yeah. I feel sick. Does it feel heavier to you? At this time that we are here, it definitely feels different. It's different, isn't it? I felt nothing the first time we came. My my ears have just gone, you know where you get flying in a plane and it starts buzzing? Cause yes. You, it felt like that, pressure, yeah. pressure on my ears. Oh, I feel sick. Is there anybody here with us? Oh, I feel sick. Is there anybody here with us in spirit? Take that. There's something in there. There's something there. If there's something in there, can you show yourself? Turn the light off. There's something in there. Can Didn't you show yourself to us? Didn't you feel it? I did. It did feel weird in there. It felt, what can I say, different it, to last time. It like come on me on the back there and it made me feel sick. I'm still feeling it a bit. If there's anything in there, we'd like to get a good look at you. Do you want to go in there by yourself? <laughs> yeah, go on then. I'll wait out here. Oh, you, you've got your camera, haven't you? Yeah. If there's any, anything in here making Mark feel ill, why? Why are you making him feel ill? You can speak to us through this device. This will register a word. See a woman in my head. I can see what she looks like. She's got. She has got a gown on. She's got a hospital nightie on. She's got. She's got brown hair. Yeah. 
and she's running about. She is, she is confused. I don't think she, she's not bad. She's not evil, but she's confused, and she's making me sick. Oh my God! I can feel it behind me. It's all over. Can he give us a word in this device? Can he talk to us through this device? Make it say a word. Sorry. What? Some, something just grabbed my hand. I am not kidding you. Felt like somebody touched my hand. Why am I getting affected like this? It's quite a good little EMF meter that it acts as like a REM pod as well. And it gives yeah. you an alarm. Look, look. Where is it? Where the freaking hell is it? Hundred. Hundred. Hey, it's not wrong. Hundred and one. Milligoss. You are kidding. No. We've just got the ovular say hundred. And Mark's reading the milligauss of 101 because we're stood under the uh, power lines, eh? these power lines that aren't showing up against this dark sky. I'm going to try and turn this off because it's annoying. It's a handy little device, that. How strange was that? Yeah. Well, it probably was at 100, but when I looked it said 101. Yeah, how strange was that? When you look back just there, it does freak you out, doesn't it? I can't believe that. I can't believe that tonight. That was weird. <laughs> Excellent. Do you know, when it's like that, I'd rather it happen to you, Tony, so I can film it. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. I don't mean not by you. Thanks, bro.